In this video, I'm going to show you start to finish how to get clear glowing skin. I know you're tired of scrolling through YouTube and seeing some influencer waffle on for like 20 minutes. So I'm going to make your life easy and cut all the BS and show you exactly how to get that clear glowing skin every guy wants. So watch to the end. So let's start with mindset. Right now, you need to do the following. Number one, accept the fact that it'll take some time for you to get clear glowing skin. I know there are a lot of YouTubers and influencers out there that say that you can get clear skin in 24 hours, two days, three days, four days. Don't listen to these people people. To actually see visible proper results, it'll take anywhere from a few weeks to a few months. So what you got to do is stay persistent and patient and do what I tell you in this video and you will not be disappointed. And number two, you need to accept yourself. Some of you are just not made to have clear glowing skin, whether that's because of your genetics, hormones or other conditions. And what you need to do is appreciate what you have and understand that you can always improve your skin, but it may take some time. So now we need to identify your skin type so we can pick out the right products for you. Overall, there are four main skin types. You got dry skin, skin that feels tight or might even be flaky or itchy. You got oily skin, which is skin that produces too much oil and often leads to shininess or greasiness on the face or enlarged pores. Then you got combination skin, which is the type I have. This is a mix of oily and dry skin with dry cheeks and an oily T-zone, so the nose, chin, and forehead area. Then finally, we got normal skin. And if you have this, bro, you are blessed. But now that we know your skin type, let's cover what products to use. So you're gonna need the following. A daytime moisturizer with SPF, a nighttime moisturizer, preferably with retinol, a cleanser, and an exfoliator. You can also invest in an eye cream or serum or even a face toner, but these are optional and are not necessary. But as for what brands to use, I'll link them in the description, but I recommend the scientifically proven stuff, brands like CeraVe, Dematica, Altruist. I personally use Tiege Hanley and brands like Geology. I'm not sponsored by them, but these have worked great for me. But overall, I recommend that you guys go out, try a few brands and see what works best with your skin type. All right, now let's actually move on to the routine. So we're gonna start with the morning routine. For the morning routine, wake up and rinse your face with warm water. Not hot, not cold, but warm water. This will open up your pores and help you cleanse it. Then you're gonna apply your cleanser, rub it in gently, especially in the oily parts while your face is still wet, and then rinse it off with cold water. This will now close your pores and prevent bacteria from getting in your pores and giving you breakouts or pimples. Now you need to pat dry your face with a clean towel. Notice the small details. I said pat dry, not rub, not scrub, but pat dry. And once you dry it, apply your morning moisturizer. This moisturizer should have broad spectrum sunscreen SPF of 30 to 50 to prevent aging, wrinkles, and sun damage. It doesn't matter what skin type you have. You know, you could be tan, you could be dark skin, you could be light skin. Everyone should be using some sort of SPF. There's heaps of research out there to prove this. And over time, you'll notice how your skin will become healthier and it'll just look so much better. So that's it for the morning routine. It's literally so simple, two products. And to save even more time, I usually do it in the shower. The cleansing part and it helps me save a bunch of time. So for the nighttime routine, we want to do the same. We want to cleanse the face, but instead of adding a sunscreen, you know, moisturizer, we're going to add our bedtime moisturizer with retinol. This is the ingredient that will help your skin reduce fine lines, acne, improve the skin texture, fade spots, and give you the results you're looking for. To further improve your skin, invest in an exfoliator and use it around two times a week. An exfoliator will get rid of, you know, your dead skin cells. It'll give you a fresh layer of skin, but just make sure you don't overuse it and you want to use it very gently and around one to two times a week. I personally do it once a week and I know there's fantastic results with this. You can also add a toner or eye cream, but again, that's all optional. Now that's it for the routine. It's literally that simple. You just need a few good solid products because as guys, we don't want to spend too much time and money on all this because we have other things to do. So keep your routine straightforward and you'll notice that you'll become very consistent with it. But now we're going to move on to the tips part of this video where I'm going to share with you some secret tips that personally I used to get clear skin and it'll definitely help you reduce your acne breakouts and overall just give you that glow and improve your skin look. So tip Tip number one is to hop in the sauna every now and then. This is literally a game changer. I go in the sauna, I don't even use the best products and I still get no pimples. Because in the sauna, you're sweating out all the gunk, all the toxins, you know, you're getting better circulation in your skin and this gives you a healthier glow. So I highly recommend that you guys go out and find a sauna near your house or close by, maybe at your gym and you should start going there every now and then. The next tip is to ice your face, especially when you have a pimple. Instead of popping it and getting a scar or infecting your pimple, I recommend that you guys go out get like some ice cubes from your fridge wrap it in a cloth or just by itself and rub it on your face for a few minutes this
This will help bring down the puffiness of your face and even helps remove, you know, under eye bags and it will just overall improve your skin. Another tip is to avoid touching your face excessively. A lot of us do this without even realizing subconsciously and this, like, this could be a reason for why you're getting breakouts. What you need to do is anytime you catch yourself touching your face for no reason, like resting it, rubbing it, you know, refrain from doing it or at least wash your hands before doing so because your hands carry so much bacteria, especially if you're at school touching all the desks and everything and this could be giving you pimples. So make sure you stop touching your face. This also brings me to another point. Change your bedding frequently, especially your pillowcase. All these things, you know, you're sweating onto them throughout the night, you're rubbing your face against your pillow while you sleep and all the bacteria goes all over the place. So if you notice pimple breakouts, this could be a large factor, especially if you have dirty sheets. So make sure you pay attention to this. The next important thing is your diet. This is very important. A lot of people don't even pay attention to this. If you're eating a lot of processed food or sugar and getting pimples, you should not be surprised. You should be eating a healthy, balanced diet with plenty of water. And water is actually one of the best ways to get clear skin. Literally, get, you know, a water bottle, fill it up with like two liters, drink that throughout the day, keep it near your table, wherever you're studying, and just start drinking more water. This will improve your skin immensely. You'll notice you'll start going to the bathroom more, but trust me, it's worth it in the end. And to end off our video, I want to stress the importance of working out, having an active lifestyle, and having good mental health. When you're working out, you de you're detoxifying your skin through sweating, you're lowering your cortisol levels, and improving your mental health. And already hear all the excuses through the screen, you know, Igor, I don't have a gym membership, but bro, shut up. I have a bunch of videos on that. Go check them out. Even if you don't have a gym, you can work out at home and still improve your skin through this way. But anyways, I hope this guide helped you. Be sure to comment down below whether or not you found these tips useful, whether or not you're seeing results in your skin, and be sure to DM me on Instagram and send me updates of how your skin's improving. Like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.